They are Romans. They are. Where are the Romans? Romans there. Oh. That's a lot of Romans. They are numerous. Here is where our invasion will start. May the gods send a good wind. We're off to a great start. Border! 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 <laughs> Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. I'd be proud if you'd take me by the hand. <laughs> it's a good thing you got here now. Have you got the magic potion? Go and arrest one large barrel, two balls, a Briton, and a little dog. <laughs> There's go! There's go! I mean, they're right there! I say, there seem to be Roman galleys. Now ah! ah! catch those guys and throw them to the lions. Boil the mint sauce. Carry out my orders. Yeah, General! Do you often get fog like this in Britain? Oh, my goodness, no. We have fog only when it isn't raining. They have a whole barrel of magic potion! Captain Turk! Aren't we exaggerating how powerful that potion is? Attack! Like he said, attack! Oh, please, attack! You are not at home. Yeah, but don't guess, Gopher. Is it too late to get a transfer? Not my deep! Uh, guess what? Forward, Roman soldiers! I say... Not awfully sporting of you, old man. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's an intelligent game. Penalty. Unnecessary roughness. I'm glad they didn't mean it. Take this down. I came, I saw, and I don't believe my eyes. <laughs> My granddaughter will come and see me today.
I'm not funny, I won't be able to live with myself. Roll film! Uncle Kermit, is this about how the Muppets really got started? Well, it, it's sort of approximately how it happened. So here they are now, the Muppets! Kermit the Frog. Uh, the Muppets and I just love coming to Hollywood. It's Tracy. Prepare the standard rich and famous contract for Kermit the Frog and Company. There'll be Spectre Call, there'll be Fantasy, there'll be Daring Do and stuff like you would never see. Hey, a movie! Yeah, yeah we're gonna be a movie! Starring everybody and me! The Muppets have done all sorts of things for kids. And now, there's Muppet Baby. Wow, wow, wow. And she's gonna let you fly a plane. And Fraggle Rock, too. This year's away. Worries for another day. Let the music play. Down in Fraggle Rock. Down in Fraggle Rock. The time has come for me to speak of the seriously cultural side of the Muppets. <laughs> Another world, another time, in the age of wonder. At last, the crystal calls. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I just knew I'd catch up with you boys. Wonderful. Thank you, boss. That was a great Bye-bye. To it, capture party! About... What is going on in the forest? <laughs> What's that noise? What's that noise? All you see, the gods have said, shall be destroyed! <laughs> but who are you? Little one? I'm Asterix. You know me. <laughs> Allow me to soothe him with a song. Here we go, everybody. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crash and thunder. You say that by the boulder. Now he's stolen and can't remember. Oh, he just sees stars. One, two, one, two, a two, two, one. It's another subtle ploy to humiliate us. <laughs> It's so cold, crazy. It makes me feel too hot. But I'm not all together with what's going on. Did you hurl that rock at him? Of course, I was trying to cure him. Confusion in his mind. He's stupid all the time. You feel all right again. Uh, uh. All right, you've had your laugh. <laughs> they use their heads, these ghouls. Oh, crash and fun. I'm back. Come on, come on. There. Now he's stolen and remembered. He just sees stars.
speeding bullets. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to soar higher than any plane. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. poisoning Dr. Jordan, yet you admit these fingerprints are yours. Yes, but, but you don't. That's all. Can't speaking. Hello, Daily Planet. This is Dr. Wilson of the Egyptian Museum. I've just uncovered something that may free Miss Hogan. Yes, Doctor. Uh, I, I've been feeling much better lately, but I'll be right over. I'll see you later, Lois. Doctor's orders. Doc. Dr. Jordan was the world's foremost student of hieroglyphics. Most of our priceless specimens were brought back by him, even the mummy of King Tush. Among his possessions, I uncover this ancient Egyptian tablet and find it to be a secret curse of the tomb of King Tush. He who disturbs the eternal sleep of King Tush shall perish. This tablet may well be Miss Hogan's passport to freedom. Come with me, please. years ago, the valley of the Upper Nile was ruled by an old and powerful king. He had been warring with the Lower Nile for many years, and just before the old king died, he called his son to him, the young boy of 12. He commanded his giant guards to wear an oath of eternal allegiance to the boy prince to guard him constantly in this world and the next. Shortly after, the old king died. The youth of 12 now ruled the kingdom of 10 million people, but the boy was not fashioned for such responsibility, and being of a sickly nature, soon became ill himself. Never was a person attended more faithfully than this youth, yet he withered away and soon died. True to their oath of allegiance, each of the royal guards drank poison, so that they might continue to protect the spirit of their young king in the Valley of the Dead. Here in these catacombs, Dr. Jordan has reconstructed the burial vault exactly as he first discovered it in one of the pyramids. Working for years in absolute and frenzied secrecy, he finally duplicated an ancient mystic formula which he called the fluid of life. Just before he was found dead, Dr. Jordan had inoculated each of the mummies of the giant guards. They were supposed to return to life, but somehow the test failed. Dr. Jordan was found here at the feet of King Tush. The rest you know. But what you don't know, Mr. Kent, and what I am equally certain of, is that Dr. Jordan violated the ancient warning by attempting to open the coffin of King Tush. A poisonous needle. That's how Dr. Jordan was killed. Yes, and Miss Hogan is a free woman.
this is one time I've scooped you, Lois. Yes, lucky for you, I was hurt. Incidentally, who told you I was at the museum? My mummy done told me. when I'm finished with my work here. Uh, Capitaine, the submarine fleet commander is impatient for news of the American convoy. He will be advised of his location shortly. To your post. By still. Miss Lane. Yes? Here, take these. Important papers. Destroy them. Ah, American stubbornness. I give you just ten minutes to remember what you did with those papers, or I will be forced to brighten your memory with fire. So! So what? Das ist genug! I suppose Miss Lane's plane has reached the convoy by this time, hasn't it? We're no soon, Mr. Kent. We're scheduled to meet the convoy ourselves in a few hours. That's fine. How's that, sir? I said that. <laughs> That's fine. I warned you, Fräulein. I'll let you talk. I will make no effort to interfere with these natives. Oh, cut the comic opera stuff. Very well, Nungala. Even now, if you tell me the location of the papers, I can... I have to look! Your Yankee friendly was in vain! <laughs> Hurry! Contact the Marine Fleet Commander at once! Yeah, oh. like they're having a party down there. And us not invited. How do you like that? 
What's that? It's Fleming's ship. Empty. I wonder. <laughs> say that during this action an entire fleet of Axis submarines was destroyed by American dive bombers, affording the troop ships a safe crossing. For the mighty mission, praise the Lord, and pass the ammunition and will all be... The Man of Steel, Superman! Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Newspaper woman scares monkeys. Mm, Ace newspaper woman reviews circus. What an assignment. Yeah, too bad, Lois. Looks like a great night for a murder or fire or something. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Just find up with your cue, Lois. Don't stop the start. Only a few minutes before the performance begins. So oh, hurry, hurry.
She lived to write it. Thanks to Superman.
and a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to soar higher than any plane. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Lane and Clark Kent. Give me a follow up on this bullet car story. Attention. The destruction of your police station today was only a small demonstration of our power. Unless your mayor turns over the entire funds of the city treasury, the power plants, firehouses, and all municipal buildings will be next. Take heed. This is your last warning. What are the authorities going to do about this, Mr. Mayor? We won't be intimidated by criminal threats. Law and order must and will prevail. <laughs> looks like a job for Superman.
than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. What do you think of the professor's show now? I still think it's pretty dangerous business. Hope nothing goes wrong. gentlemen, that the safety of the public is of special import to you. Perhaps almost as important to you as my ambitions are to me. But you request that I give up my experiments, experiments which are the combination of 30 years of dreaming and planning is impossible. Tonight, those dreams will become real. The comet of Falcon will be my toy. Under my control, it will be brought to within a mile of us. Then, after a close examination, I'll send it back again into space. Your tampering with nature endangers thousands of lives. Yes, and even at the possible cost of those lives, I shall continue my experiment. I warn you, Professor, we're prepared to stop you. And I warn you, sir, any interference may prove disastrous. Stop!
City Editor. Look, Chief, the panic's on. The thing's gone haywire. <coughs> Lois, Lois, what happened? <coughs> Lois! Pretty wonderful yourself. Oh, how did you get here? <laughs> Thanks to Superman.
sleep for a racket like this. But it's been going on every night since we've been interned. What do you suppose it could be? Could be sabotage, I hope. Me too. But who? Clark, do you suppose... Yes, Lois? Oh, nothing. Just a silly hunch that maybe Superman might be over here. Quiet! Do not talk! Shanasta! Ishapatash must stop at once! Konetawa! Did he get away? No. No, he's still over there. But don't worry. Superman promised to look after him.
In the endless reaches of the universe, there once existed a planet known as Krypton, a planet that burned like a green star in the distant heavens. There, civilization was far advanced and had brought forth a race of supermen whose mental and physical powers were developed to the absolute peak of human perfection. But there came a day when giant quakes threatened to destroy Krypton forever. One of the planet's leading scientists, sensing the approach of doom, placed his infant son in a small rocket ship and sent it hurtling in the direction of the Earth just as Krypton exploded. The rocket ship sped through star-studded space, landing safely on Earth with its precious burden, Krypton's sole survivor. A passing motorist found the uninjured child and took it to an orphanage. As the years went by and the crew to maturity, he found himself possessed of amazing physical powers. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. The infant of Krypton is now the man of steel. Superman! Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. of the Daily Planet. Clark Kent, Planet. And in operation, this stabilizer is one of the most effective yet devised, representing an investment in years. How'd you like to be making the test flight in this, Lois? Hmm, maybe I will. <laughs> Fine chance. Everyone off, please. Everyone off. Come on, Lois. That's us. Say, by the way, Lois. Lois.
landing will interfere with voyage to Tokyo. are stealing the giant bomber. Hurry up! Attention, all pilots. Giant bomber being stolen. Take off immediately. <laughs> Well-placed bomb will stop pursuit. This looks like a job for Superman. you are. He plane immediately. Our girl will be released. Okay, little man. You win.